Well, hello there. I'm so glad that you've come to watch and learn. I hope I teach you something today. Today, I've got a few things out here on my uh, Lazy Susan, or you could get even a um, spice rack that moves around, whatever you want, because it's, it's very convenient to be able to do that when you're working with alcohol inks, okay? This I've already drawn out, and they're going to be sunflowers, and that's what we're going to work on today. You're going to need your ruling pen, um, or maybe a brush, brush, and it'll ruin your brush, I'll let you know that. But a ruling pen from Joggles.com, the ones on Amazon are no good, okay? Um, this one here mm -hmm. is a ruling pen, and you can see through the side there, and it has a little, like... Uh, canoe like to hold the liquid and this little knob opens to wherever you like it to be as wide as you want your lines to be okay so um, if you don't have a ruling pin and you want to use your an old brush that's cool you can also I found use the end of a um, skewer which I'm trying to find here an end of a skewer will work as well with the masking fluid which i didn't mention masking fluid that's what we're going to use with our ruling pen to go around the sunflowers and then be able to paint the background without any bleeding into our sunflowers um so you'll need uh, 99 percent isopropyl 99 percent i don't believe in the lower ones it doesn't for me work um, and of course, alcohol inks, and I use Magic Fly. I use them thin down um, with al uh, isopropyl. Like I'll put in, depending on the color and and uh, pigmentation of the ink, I put about right up to the tape line, pure ink, and the rest of it is 99% alcohol. And also, it'll make your inks go a lot longer. Uh, you know, if you use them straight from here, you're going to be buying it quite frequently. And you'll find that doing this is just as vibrant as coming straight from the bottle. Okay, um, I think I gave you all the tips. Also, a tile is helpful. If you wanted to test your colors to see which blue you like or you know what colors mix well together you can use a tile and then simply when you're done use some alcohol on it with a little tissue and it wipes completely clean i've used this tile millions of times all right let me move that out of the way because the first thing step we're going to do is use our ruling pen to outline everything so it's going to take a little bit of time. And I'm not going to put you through all of that. I'll, I'll let you see a little bit of it. That way, you know, the video isn't as long. And um, we'll get started. Let me show you how easy to use. Go ahead and dip your ruling pen. And then you kind of just off the end. Show you how easy this works. And let's say... I want to put some here, which I do, and as you see, it's just like drawing. The liquid flows out, and you put it where you want it. I'm gonna outline, I want to outline all the petals. Again, make a dip in, and a gentle cleaning of the bottom. And looky there, see? You see how easy that is? See how valuable a ruling pen can be with alcohol inks, with watercolor. And this will protect the background that I'm going to paint to get into my pretty little sunflowers. When you run out of ink, dip deep, halfway. That way there's some in that little hollow canoe-like area. See how nice that flowed? 
that's what you're looking for. It's super easy. There's no real um, little tip, like I said, is just to make sure to dip it in all the way so that you get ink into the canoe, which is what I call it, a canoe, or hollowed out holding spot of the um, masking fluid. Just like that. How easy, right? Why don't you have one, right? You're probably thinking, oh, shoot, didn't even hear of that. That would be awesome. That way you can paint things that are, you know, um, not just an abstract. You can actually make a painting um, that's really quite beautiful. If you block block things off, you don't want your. When I do my background, I don't want it seeping into my uh, to our sunflowers. I'm yeah, I'm doing it and talking. I'm not so good at. But when it feels like it's kind of not enough, you just dip it again. And I'm kind of coloring in the tips a little bit because um, because I don't. I have a feeling that that background is going to want to try to get in a little bit. So I'm really going to put a little more on the inside of the petals that are so close to where I'm going to do the uh, uh, background. Sometimes tapping helps if it, you know, been using it for a while and it doesn't seem to okay that's just dried already whoops and I just messed that up <laughs> when it dries it's kind of it's very hard to see so this is still wet so I'm going to dip into it and pull it up I must have dropped some out and I didn't see it did you all see that I didn't Oh, that's okay though. I don't mind that. And it's quite detailed, as you see. And I'm coloring in the uh, petals on the outside there because uh, it's really close to the background. And I'll also do the leaves. But, it really, you know, you think, oh, gosh, that's a lot of work. It's really not. Not if you have a ruling pen. It works really quickly. I'll have this done in, in about 15 minutes. But since time is, you know, important, I'm not going to keep you for all of this. I'm trying to see if I can finish one flower with you. If you dipped it in and it didn't come out right away, just give it a little tap. Don't worry about the pencil marks. You want to cover them up with the masking fluid. And when you remove the masking fluid, it will actually... Um, you can erase your pencil mark. Because you don't want that either in your painting. Okay. Well... I think I've done it maybe just one more petal. I can't remember if I did this one. I can't see. Okay, I feel something. And if you do hit something you've already covered, it'll come off because it dried. Okay. All right. So, yes, and I went around the center, went around. See, that didn't take too long, but long, in, you know, a little long for, for the video. So, I'm going to continue uh, the, I did that flower, this flower, we're going to do stem, leaf, and last flower, and I'll be back. All right, we've got it all masked off. I wanted to give you the last tip on the ruling pen. After you've used it, You want to, you know, wipe it clean. Usually I use a, a tissue, but I couldn't, I'm out right now. 
but use a toothbrush so that you get that, you know, the canoe like that holds all the liquid. You want to make sure that that's clean. So just give it a good brush, which I've already done, but I'm just doing it because I wouldn't do it, you know, right across the paper. I shouldn't. Um, so once you've got it all nice and clean again, go ahead and close it up. Close its mouth back. That keeps us nice and tight and clean. And it sometimes will drop off. No biggie. Yes, put it back on. And there we go. Nice and tight. Okay. And then put it in something that is uh, protective. I have a little plastic thing there that holds it so that it's not, uh, can be contaminated with anything. Okay. Don't know even what I'm talking about. Knocking over my paints, everything else. All right. Now it's time to paint the background after this dries. And I'm going to uh, let this dry and then we'll continue. Okay, it's now time that we do our background. And I also wanted to mention doing art should be something that brings to you joy. So don't be too upset if something isn't right because you can change things with alcohol ink. You could wipe it away with a Q-tip and some alcohol on it and wipe it away. So, you know, painting should be relaxing. It should be something that is uh, good for you. So, just a little tip there. If you get frustrated, you know, remind yourself this is just playing and having fun. I chose to use India Teal for our background. I may mix another color towards the bottom, but I'm going to start out with the teal. And this is uh, the 99% alcohol with just pure uh, ink, maybe up to there. The rest of it's isopropyl, so that it's watered down. And this little needle tip is going to be my brush, because it works better. So here we go. I'm going to start right up here in this section. And drop my colors in carefully. Going around the petals. And as you see, doing it this way, makes a smoother alcohol ink application and if I can't hold that lid back there we go so that's all I do isn't that cool and the masking fluid is protect is going to be you know is protecting our <coughs> excuse me flowers oops I dropped a little too much there but we will see what happens. We may have a bleed if we do. So just use some alcohol on a cotton swab and get rid of it. I love the sound of the waterfall. Does anybody else? Let me know in the comments if you like that sound too. It's so relaxing and I love water anyway. My first medium that I did as a youngster was always watercolor and um, I found I like alcohol inks as much. Okay. Guess I'm not going to introduce any colors. I'm really liking this India blue. You see how nice it comes with the 
just using the needle. We don't have any marks of any kind. We're almost through. If I knew how to do voiceover, I'd do that and speed this up, but I don't. You hear me dragging the tip there. And my darn, the lid to it keeps wanting to come off. Now we're getting into some very tight spaces. And that masking fluid is doing its job, it looks like. And holding back from going into them. Okay. time as I can just hear you guys going, I'm bored, I'm bored. Sorry. I'm almost done. I could finish it behind the scenes, but I like when I watch others, I kind of like this, to see the whole process. But that's me. That's not everybody I found. A lot of people are into the short reels and making very fast videos and things like that. There's blue somewhere there. We'll have to... Alright, let's see. Did we get it all covered? Is there any spaces? No. I think we are good. Alright. Ooh, that's so brilliant. Look at that color. I love it. Pretty, pretty. Okay. Let's just let that dry. And teal, for some reason, does kind of give a funny, I'm noticing, a texture to the back, which is cool. You know. And uh, next, we're going to do our sunflowers. Let this dry, and I'll be back. Okay, I added another layer of the India colored blue because I wanted it a little darker. I think it looks really good. Now remember, even though that alcohol is on top of that uh, stem, we have that stem covered with um, the masking fluid. So that's not going to be, should not be a bleed through. So let's give it a, a try. I want to go ahead and just remove the stem. And it's wanting to grab the flower. See what I can do with that. Just break it. There you go. And go ahead and re... Um, Okay, now scissors are going to come into play because I didn't want that to happen. We want our masking fluid on our flowers. Let's see. There, yeah. There. <laughs> you cut it off. You know, so some of it came off. No big deal because we're not flooding anything. And I'm going to go ahead and get off the masking fluid of the leaf. There we go. And it's time to color it. And I decided to go with alcohol ink markers that I absolutely love. It's a game changer. Look at that. 72 colors. That's who makes it. Awesome. They're awesome. So I think that for more control, instead of using, you know, my, um, well, actually I had made a little palette here with the, and put some colors in, 
but I, I'm changing my mind. I think that for more control, I'm going to use the markers. So I want a pretty green to, to uh, accent our... The pins come, by the way, with two ends. One that is thicker and one that has a point. And for the stem, I'm going for the point. I don't need alcohol, so let me get that out of my way. All right, where's my stem? There we go, let me get, okay, you can see. So what I'm gonna do is just come in and color with this pen, which is alcohol ink. If I added alcohol, I could, you know, do it. Yeah, you could blow out a flower, anything with these markers. It's, it's totally awesome. And I don't mind the bumpiness because no stem in nature is completely, you know, straight. There's no straight lines, really, in nature that I know of. If I'm wrong, let me know. <laughs> I don't, I'm pretty sure, but not sure. And we're going to do our leaves. And I'd like the leaves to be just a little slightly darker. <coughs> Excuse me. So I chose a different green. I mean, there's so many color selections. It's awesome. You can make texture with these, all kinds of stuff. So have fun. And I left the pencil marks there because those were highlights of the leaf that I wanted to maintain. And then go ahead. Markers are so easy to use. And I could come over the top again with a different color and it will move the screen as needed. I think I got a little bit of masking fluid there. I'll get it in a minute. It dries. Of course, we've got lines and things like that, which I like. All right. Let's get this little guy over here. It's a funny looking little leaf. See, I can come right over that blue and it'll be green. Boom, we've got us a pretty leaf. Isn't that easy? Easy. Love the markers. Really encourage you to try them. I'm going to start with this lower uh, flower. and um, So I'm going to go ahead and remove the masking fluid. And all you do is just rub and then get you some and pull. Actually, didn't want my silver, but it, it, since I'm using markers, it's going to be great. Now, did you see how it looks like it bled, but it didn't. It just went on top of the uh, masking fluid. Isn't that cool? Worth having a ruling pen. Worth using masking fluid. Beautiful. Just a couple there. Oh. There we go. Okay. Make sure we get all the fluid off of there. Boom, boom, boom. And, of course, we want to get a cool color for our pretty, pretty flowers. I think I'll go with a little darker color here. Let's see. Is that dark? Not dark dark enough let me see let's go I want a little bit of orange in them 
they're never quite all um, yellow. They have a little bit of orange. And I'm going to go back to the yellow. And go ahead and that blue I grabbed a hold of just to kind of pull it in. There's reflections. There should be anyway. Do this little guy here. This little petal is covering the leaf. Oops, I keep putting the lid back on when I move over. And get my other pen ready. Because we want a little bit of orange there too. Just a little bit and then come with the other color and blend that orange in. Isn't that neat? You can just blend it. Just like maybe acrylics you might do. Okay, easy breezy, right? I'm deliberately leaving a little bit of um, white areas. These petals are behind, you know, the other ones, so it's pretty already. I'm liking it. The color is gorgeous. That blue, that teal blue is working. Orange. A little white left there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now we're on a top petal. So I wanted a little bit of that there. And maybe let's come in with a lighter. Uh, yellow. This one's called pumpkin yellow. So let's see what we get. Yeah, a little bit lighter. And I'm deliberately not touching the pencil lines because I want to come in next, I think, for the top and uh, erase them with your eraser because we really don't want pencil marks showing and really blending that orange okay there oh I'm going to leave that open as well okay because I'm using all three colors and just take your pencil uh, eraser and if you see anything that needs erased, like right here, I can see some pencil mark. So, you just take your eraser. And maybe you don't want to erase all of them because sometimes it gives a depth or, you know. But for this, it needs erased. Some of these areas. There we go. That's pretty. All right.
right, I'm taking up your time, aren't I? Doing the erasing. But I thought I'd, you know, because you may go, well, what do I do with the pencil marks, you know? That's what you do. I kind of kept the ink off of it a little bit. Doesn't matter. I had pencil on here. I don't even see the pencil mark. It's gone. All right. So that's what I'm going to do here with our petals to make sure we don't have any pencil marks showing. Just You can scrub right over the alcohol ink marker to erase them. Real easy. And if it a little stubborn just use a little bit more power <laughs> okay I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing the same method here and just the petals and I'll be back now after I have used the markers this side right here you can see it's kind of rough looking okay so what you do is you grab your alcohol ink pen okay it's used for watercolor or alcohol inks okay and it holds water for watercolor and of course alcohol ink if you're using alcohol ink and you just simply give it a squeeze and it'll come right out to your tip and what I'm doing is I'm going over those pencil I mean excuse me marker mar uh, marker so that it becomes smoother do you see my center and so that I'd show you how I do it and it just kind of helps to blend things nicely like that and you're able to you know do a little more detail and it smooths so good this way And I'm not squeezing any alcohol out. I'm just using it as it flows out naturally. Just to smooth the marker pen out. And give it some interesting texture at the same time. If there's not enough color somewhere you just pull it in and the markers give real easy you'll love these markers I tell ya isn't that cool and then uh, let's see do this guy back here Again, I'm just shaking. I'm shaking a little bit for some reason. <laughs> Too much coffee. Oh, actually, I'm drinking Coke. Too much Coke. There you go. And now we've smoothed those petals out. Yet, we've got some cool lines and a little bit of texture. There's going to be more texture in that center later. Okay? Just wanted to... I had forgotten to mention this is something that we're going to use. So, we're going to use this sometimes over the marker. Okay, I'm just, I have a thing of alcohol always on hand in a little bottle where I can dip that brush in and clean the tip off. Just like that. So, I have a little glass jar, has a little lid maybe. Put your 99% alcohol in there, and that can clean your brush. A little tip. All right, there you go. There's one, and I think it's really vibrant. I think the colors are working really well with the background. All right, I'm going to go on to the next, which I need to remove the masking fluid. Next flower. And I even may bring in a little bit of blue just to for the highlight or something. We'll see. We shall see. Okay. Some out there. Get you some more off. There you go. Being careful.
careful. There we go. See how that was covered, but yet the mask and fluid protected it. Awesome! And actually, some of that can come off. It's no big deal. Okay, there we go. Some there, so you kind of you, you know just you have to use your fingers to try to figure out if you've missed any on the one you're going to work on, like this one, and then just brush it off. Make sure there's nothing sticking, and move on to your next flower. We're going to use the same color combination, just like that, right up here. So, I'll do that at behind the scenes and save some time. Maybe. Okay, I wanted to show you the magic again. I used a uh, shade called uh, Natural Oak. It's a pretty brown. It's like a sienna brown. Um, and... You know, I'm thinking about light source, too. Okay, my light is coming this away. As you can see here. The dark is this side, this side, light, everything on that side. More lighter. So, all I did is did that with the um, marker. Then I'm going to come, you can still see me, with the alcohol pen. And I'm going to pull that color out. I'm going to leave it darkish, but I'm going to pull the color out of the marker. Now, is that not amazing? Alcohol ink marker. It's a game changer, I think. It has made my paintings better. It's easier, and it's fun. There we go, for now. And we'll come back and do details and things like that and more texture, but I wanted to say, you know, don't forget about your light source. One side needs to be, you know, wherever you decide the light source is, and then the other side has to be a little darker, okay? Just a little trick when you're uh, painting. Let me clean the brown off my brush with my alcohol bowl. Because now we're going to do those pretty flowers and uh, just smooth them out a little bit. Just a little bit. And especially on the top flowers. I got a little bit, when I dipped it in, see the alcohol really can lighten things up too. See, I would like the top petals to be a little bit lighter than the dark. And I want to keep the white in between. Just kind of like watercolor. Because you can't paint white with alcohol inks. It, there is a white pen and I can dot and things like that, but um, to make that white right there, you couldn't do it without Duralar paper, by the way. I use Duralar substrate. Or for us common folk, paper. Duralar, let me tell you. It's wonderful. Upo is okay, but it can stain. Um, and also, more expensive. And less sheets. Um, the Duralar lasts me a long time. I actually cut the sheets in half. So that I get a 5x7 or 8x10. This is 8x10 or 5x7 or whatever. But I cut it in half. So there's another sheet to it. Alright, where was I? Kind of over blended that one because there was a lot of alcohol. But that's alright. That's all fixable. Just trying to get some blending done on those petals on the top.
just like that. Now I'm going to do the darker underneath the petals. Try to bring them out a little bit. Smooth it. Okay. And I will fix this. And the pretty petal emerges again. All that was is my brush had too much alcohol in it. So it made kind of a bloom. Which, like you see, is not hard to fix. Alright. Now we're doing the underneath here. Because it's a flower in the back. Here, I feel time is ticking. I think y'all get kind of the gist of this. There we go. This one needs a little help here. There. And I'm, this one still needs a little help, but we'll get, I'm going to let that dry, and we'll come in and fix it a little bit. And nothing needs to be perfect either, so sometimes when you have a mistake, it turns out to be a blessing. All right, we got one more to go, all right? So how are, we, how are you thinking? Are you liking it? I'm I'm liking it. I think the color choice against the blue and the yellow and the brown. And of course we're going to build the centers up a little bit in the end. Also give the leaf some, you know, veins, etc. And i got to pull off all of the masking fluid there at the top. I'm going to go ahead and rinse my brush off. Don't forget to do that your alcohol ink brush and put your lid back on it boom okay love it get you one of these you're gonna love it um get you some pens too i'm telling you it's it's a game changer all right i'm okay i'll peel all you already seen me do all that peeling it off etc and i'll color this one and we'll come back and i'll show you how i'm going to make some details in the in the center for more interest by the way pulling off <laughs> the masking tape is actually a lot of fun and uh, you see it saved even though it looked like it bled through it's just on top of the oh that one really did bleed through well sometimes I guess it happens I hadn't had that happen but Maybe I didn't put enough masking fluid on that one. All easy to fix. A little alcohol on a cotton swab, and I'll clean that right up. But um, I hope I encourage you to get the ruling pin. Make sure to get it from Joggle.com. Amazons don't work. In fact, I bought one just to be able to show everybody uh, what they look like. I mean, come on. The little screw comes off all the time. Uh, there is no canoe to hold 
uh, any liquid. It's just pointy. <laughs> it doesn't work. Uh, they sell them in threes, one, then they, you know, a little eraser with it. And, you know, I went ahead and bought it just to show y'all the reason that I push you guys to the right ruling pen at joggle.com. You'll love me for it. Uh, you'll get the best in the one that works. Okay, I'm going to get to work and I'll be back. All righty, here's the picture. I saved a lot of time, tried to, because I don't know how to speed it up and do all the fancy stuff, but anyway, it's done. I think I gave you a lot of tips, I hope. Maybe some inspiration to get you some markers and uh, some alcohol ink. I use Magic Fly. I know there's others that are a little better out there. Um... I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to give you a flyover. We're going to peel the tape off so we have a nice border. And I'll do you a flyover. Okay, here's our flyover of our beautiful sunflowers. And I hope I did a good job. I lack confidence. I'm not always sure if it's very good or not. Um, if you like it... Uh, Give me a thumbs up or comments. Um, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, by the way. And um, Happy New Year. And uh, Happy Sunflowers to everybody. Bye now. See you on the next.